You may notice a control on your dash or steering wheel that you don't fully understand when you look down. Try not to worry, it can be challenging to keep up with all the innovations that automakers are putting into new models at a dizzying rate. Eco mode is among the most recent and widely used innovations. However, what is eco mode and when is it appropriate to use? Watch the video and I'll explain everything to you. But just before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. What is Eco Mode? More and more manufacturers are beginning to equip their cars with the more recent technology known as Eco Mode. You can choose to give up some power and responsiveness from your car in exchange for marginally better fuel economy by turning on this feature. While certain drivers firmly believe that Eco Mode is indistinguishable from manually modifying your driving style, others disagree. Although both arguments have some merit, using Eco Mode will always result in more fuel efficiency. How does Eco Mode work? To improve fuel efficiency, Eco Mode limits the performance of the engine and transmission. This implies that your car won't exert all of its energy to accelerate when you stomp on the gas. Rather, when Eco Mode is installed, it will perform all the tasks that the manufacturer gave it permission to. Apart from limiting the performance of the engine and transmission, Eco Mode optimizes the fuel, air, and other important parameters to optimize your car's fuel efficiency without causing any negative side effects. You'll only experience a minor reduction in power and responsiveness. When you activate Eco Mode, your car is essentially subject to a set of limitations set by the manufacturer. Although this isn't inherently a bad thing, the technology they have isn't particularly groundbreaking. When to use Eco Mode? Of course, if you want to save fuel, you should always drive in Eco Mode. However, you shouldn't use it whenever you think you might need the extra performance. This means you should think about turning off Eco Mode when driving on highways and other busy roads. Even though you might have to visit the gas station a little more frequently, you don't want to be unable to accelerate when necessary to prevent an accident. However, there aren't many disadvantages to driving in Eco Mode in urban areas. There is a lot of stop and go traffic, so you don't need to accelerate quickly. This is the ideal chance to try and increase your fuel efficiency without making any compromises. So when is the best time to use Eco Mode? Whenever you don't mind a little bit less power in your car, how much can you save by using Eco Mode? Many people believe that by changing your driving habits, you can achieve the same effects as Eco Mode. Even though you can still get more gas mileage by reducing your top speed and accelerating more slowly, using Eco Mode will improve your fuel efficiency even further. There's no denying that Eco Mode increases your fuel efficiency, even though the precise amount of fuel saved varies between manufacturers. It would be beneficial, though, if you understood that using Eco Mode won't instantly transform your car from a 20 mpg monster to a 45 mpg hybrid. Actually, Eco Mode only makes a 5% difference in your fuel efficiency. Therefore, you should save roughly $10 a month if you spend $200 at the pump each month. Lastly, you will probably save even more money at the pump if your driving style uses excess fuel. This is because using Eco Mode can increase your awareness of your driving behaviors and driving sustainably can reduce your fuel usage by up to 24%. But compared to other drivers, you're also more likely to notice the performance difference immediately. Even though Eco Mode isn't the most exciting feature, it's a great way to save money at the gas pump and contribute less to greenhouse gas emissions.